Hey, I'm JR, training manager here at Crutchfield, and this is the Morel Virtus Nano Carbon family of car speakers. Uh, they're a pretty unique design. We're gonna get into what makes them special here in a minute. First, let's talk about the models that are available. Uh, there's a 62 and a 63. That's a two-way and a three-way component system. There's also the Integra 62, which has the tweeter kind of built in, uh, or it's a two-way, or you can think of it as a concentrically designed speaker. Uh, these are all in the six and a half inch size. There will be four inch versions of these speakers available as well. Here's the deal with these nano carbon speakers. Uh, you're gonna notice here in this video that they're very shallow. They can be mounted where other speakers cannot be mounted because they're just too big or too deep. Morel spent a lot of time developing technologies in these speakers that allow that to be the case without sacrificing sound quality. And we're not just taking Morel's word for that. We've heard from installers around the globe that these things really do sound amazing. They were at first thought of as a solution that fits and then they realized, no, these are a high sound quality speaker option. All of the nano carbon family of speakers uses the same woofer cone technology, and that's where the, it gets the name carbon. Uh, as you can see, it's a carbon fiber woofer. It's actually a sandwiched carbon fiber. There's a small layer of foam in between the two layers of carbon, which helps it have rigidity and accuracy as it moves in and out, making base for you. And you can see it's in a convex shape, so it kind of sticks out instead of sticking in like you'll see on most other speakers. And it's attached to the frame with a rubber surround. Now the reason it's convex is because these speakers were designed specifically to get this shallow depth. Most speakers are gonna sit about this deep when you have a magnet and a motor structure traditionally located right about here on the back of a set of speakers. With these speakers, they've integrated the magnet and the motor and the voice coil all in here. In fact, one of the things they're doing here is using the same magnet structure to drive the woofer and the tweeter at the same time. Uh, this allows for a, a lot less depth, uh, so you can mount them in places where you couldn't mount other speakers, as well as accuracy. It, it lends itself well to that concentric design of having the tweeter and the woofer mounted together. Another aspect of this is something Morel calls EVC, or external voice coil technology. This moves the magnetic drive system to within the voice coil which eliminates stray magnetic flux by effectively directing all the magnetic energy to the voice coil. These woofers use a 2.1 inch diameter voice coil, which is very large when it comes to this size speaker, and a neodymium magnet motor for an ultra efficient and powerful design that is compact with efficient heat dissipation and low distortion. And you can kind of see all of that with these holes on the back here. It's a good way of ventilating the speaker, keeping air moving and keeping it cool. And thanks to all of that technology, these speakers can achieve bass as low as 50 Hertz. That's Morel's rating on it. And Morel doesn't fudge the numbers. So if they say it's gonna hit 50 Hertz, it really is gonna go down that low, accurate, tight, solid bass. All with the speaker that's only 11 16 inches deep. It's pretty impressive. Morel uses a 1.1 inch AccuFlex coated silk dome tweeter. It's silk and it's coated with an AccuFlex material that dampens it and reduces distortion. So the tweeters, the mids and the highs that you'll hear from the tweeters should be super accurate and crystal clear. Uh, they come with two different ways to mount them. You can either flush mount them by cutting a hole and inserting the tweeter in so it sits flush with whatever surface you're mounting them to, or you could surface mount them where they sit on top of your door panel or your dash. Uh, and you can use an angled 40 degree mount that way to get the tweeters angled up at you. The reason to use a component system is in fact to get the tweeters mounted up higher in your dash or on your doors and get better imaging. Get that those mids and high frequencies up where your ears are, where you can really take advantage of them. If they're mounted down low, you're kind of losing the benefit of a component system. And with these, you can mount them where you want them, angle them at you to get the best stereo imaging possible. If you're looking for the most precise sound possible, you'll probably want to go to the 63, which is the three-way component system. So the same woofer, the same tweeter, but now they've added a two and a half inch convex aluminum alloy cone mid-range. It's responsible for those mid-range frequencies, the ones that are lower than you want your tweeter doing and higher than you want your woofer doing. And so you have three separate speakers all responsible for their own smaller, narrower band of frequencies, which allows them to be even more precise. 
and the mid-range is only 0.37 inches deep, which allows it to be custom installed into many locations where there'd be no other way to mount a mid-range speaker. All of the nano carbon speakers from Morel come with a separate crossover. Even the Integra speakers that have the tweeter concentrically mounted, there's still a separate crossover. The separate crossover's job is to make sure that the right frequencies go to the right speakers, the highs to the tweeter, the lows to the woofer, and if you have the three-way, the mids to the mid-range. Uh, these crossovers also allow you some tweeter adjustment. If your tweeters are mounted high, you might not want them as bright, so you can tone them down with an adjustment on the crossovers. If your tweeters are mounted low, you might want to increase just how bright they are. You can do that. You have selections to choose from when you are installing your crossovers. To power these speakers, you are going to want uh, to use a separate amplifier, uh, somewhere in the range of 70 to 100 watts of RMS power. Morel has a couple great choices for you. You could go with a four channel, the MPS 4.400M, or if you want to take it all the way to a five channel where you have that extra channel for a subwoofer, you could go with the Morel MPS 5.950 amplifier. Either one would power these speakers perfectly. So this is the Morel Virtus Nano Carbon family of speakers. Uh, pretty ingenious design and they sound great. If you're thinking you might want to put these in your car, let us here at Crutchfield help you. You can go to crutchfield.com contact to either call or chat with one of our advisors. You can also post your comments or questions right here in the comment section on YouTube. We do pay attention to that and we will respond accordingly. And also hit that like and subscribe and turn on notifications button while you're here. That way you'll know when we put out another video. And thanks for watching.